Hello everyone, this is Mr. Crozier and I wanted to give you some help on our new types of problems today. All right, we're going to start by graphing again and we have this equation here and we could find the intercepts, but we're going to do it a different way um, than finding the intercepts. And the way we're going to do it today is called a uh, slope intercept form, meaning uh, we want to get the equation into y equals mx plus b form. So first thing I'm going to do is subtract the 3x from both sides. And if I do that, um, I'll have 2y and a negative 3x and a positive 8. I went ahead and put the negative 3 first just so it follows that form. Then divide everything by 2. And y is going to be negative 3 divided by 2. It's going to be best to leave it in this form, um, plus 4. All right, now that we have that, uh, it looks like y is equal to mx plus b. This is a kind of a shortcut for graphing. Um, we, we can graph real easily by just doing two things. First, doing the intercept, the y-intercept. And the y-intercept is, what if x is 0, what's y? Well, plug in 0, negative 3 half times 0 is 0, plus 4 is 4. And it's always that value because the x will cancel this out when it's 0. So we just have 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is right there. So that's our first point in the graph. And the next one is the slope. And the slope is the m value, or the number in front of the x. And in this case, our slope is negative 3 halves. And what that means is this graph moves down 3, 1, 2, 3, then over 2, 1, 2, 3, over 2. And that is the direction of our line. Sorry, it's not very straight there, but that is the direction of our line, down 3, over 2. And it continues that pattern, down 3, over 2, down 3, over 2, down 3, over 2. And if you want to go backwards, you can go up 3 and back 2, and up 3 and back 2. And that's the direction of our line. Um, it's a shortcut for graphing. You don't have to plot any more points. You don't have to find any more points. You don't have to find both intercepts. You find one intercept. You find the slope. You're done. And again, you can go back to Desmos.com. Um, remember that website, Desmos.com, and type in 3x plus 2y is equal to 8. If you plug that in, you will get that graph. All right. Hope this helps. Start your or watch the rest of the videos today. Uh, try to do um, as many of the problems as you can. Bring them to class tomorrow. Mr. Kramer will be there to work on them with you in class. Um, I should be back on Monday to continue the lessons. All right, have a great day.